All right, guys, I'm still here at the, uh, I'm in Las Vegas. I'm at the Link Promenade, which is in between the Flamingo and the Link. Right down there is the big uh, Holy Roller. It's kind of a, I think it's a couple of feet taller, the High Roller, than the, uh, than the London Eye. But anyway, everybody knows I love British food, and I am at Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. If I tilt the camera up here, you'll see this cool little fish and chips logo there. Really cool. You know how I love British food. And you expect Gordon Ramsay to whip out some genuine fish and chips. I don't think the dude's gonna put his name on anything that's gonna suck. Speaking of uh, this, all right, let me back up here. Everybody knows that knows me, that are friends of mine, they know that Sticky toffee pudding is my favorite dessert in the whole world. Matter of fact, every time I come to Vegas, one of the first places I go is the Crown and Anchor. It's down uh, Tropicana. I have myself an English breakfast and I have a sticky toffee pudding. This motherfucker, Jordan Ram uh, Gordon Ramsay, made a sticky toffee pudding shake. Is it good? Oh my God, it is so good. Now he offers all kinds of different things with his chips. You can get them with Parmesan, truffle, bacon, uh, cheese, all kinds of different stuff. I just got them dry because I wanted to do the traditional style. And there's all kinds of other stuff that they can add Sorry. to it. Jacket respect. Cool man, thanks, thanks. People just love to talk to me whenever I'm out. So. Uh, they offer a couple of different sauces. Now I got the traditional tartar sauce and the Dijon mayonnaise with my fish. So let's try the fish um, without any sauce on it. Whoa. Mmm. Extremely light and flaky. Wow. I gotta say, for some street side fish and chips, this is the best I've had in a long, long time. That is the lightest, fluffiest. It's not super greasy, not over salted. Uh, I mean, when I was in London, uh, I wasn't really impressed with a lot of the fish and chips I had. I found them to be very plain and dull. I didn't like some of the uh, burnt taste uh, or the bad oil that I was getting on some of them. That is amazing. It's, it is so, it's falling apart actually. Mm. Oh my God. I want to try this. It's fucking amazing. Is it? All right. As Gordon Ramsay would say, it's fucking amazing. All right. Oh, ma'am. Mm. Oh, that, that sauce is good. <clears throat> wow, the tater, the tartar sauce is really, really good. He should sell this shit by the bottle. I would buy that. I would buy that sauce. Put that on some Gordon fish sticks. Oh my fucking god. That's like sex. Quite a lot of people walking around out here. It's pretty busy. Let's pull this a little closer. Yeah, put that right there. I'll plug it. Oh man. This Dijon is amazing. Dijon mayonnaise. Wow. All right, I don't normally do the lemon on my fish. I'm gonna do a little here. Now he offers a curry as well. I'm not a big guy, I'm not, as, I like British food, but I'm not really into curry. Let's try a little of the lemon fish, the lemon on the fish here. Oh, that's good. Let's try the fish with the uh, Dijon mayonnaise. That's got a nice tang. I gotta go back to the tartar sauce though. Tartar sauce is a fucking winner. Yeah. God damn. There's some dill in there. I'm, um, 
Oh, there, it's the shit. Huh? It's good. good. So the tartar sauce, I'm, I'm tasting um, your, your standard, uh, your pick, sweet pickle, mayonnaise, uh, probably olive oil, and dill, and maybe, uh, what is that? I can't eat spicy food. I can taste all the individual. You ever see a chick so fucking hot you forget exactly what you're saying? What was I just saying? God damn. Anyway, I can taste the individual ingredients of uh, stuff, you know, and I can't eat hot, spicy food. It's one of the reasons I don't like curries. I, I can't do, um, I like black pepper, but black, black pepper is actually a dry berry. But I, I, I can't do spicy stuff. I certainly can't do the habaneros or jalapenos or any of that stuff. Can't do it. But uh, I'm really, really liking this tartar sauce. This batter is so light and crispy. It's wispy. I'm very, very impressed. I would do anything if we had one of the... If we had a Gordon Ramsay fish and chips in Dallas, I would go there all the time. So, Gordon, if you ever watch this video, please, franchise this shit. Now, I think that I saw... The fries were frozen. The chips, I mean. I was a little disappointed with that. I would expect a Gordon Ramsay. A fresh cut and blanched fries. But I'm not 100% sure. I couldn't tell from where at my vantage point, but I will say they are absolutely fantastic. They're not over salted. The grease is fresh. So they have a light taste. You know, when you go to a, a place and you have fries or chips and they're soggy and kind of bleh, that's because the grease is old. Once the grease gets to a certain flash point, it doesn't recover. If they overheat it and it gets too hot and it's used too many times, it loses its properties and turns into crap. You don't like it. Well, Go back to the sticky toffee pudding shake. Fuck, that's good. That is sticky toffee pudding in a shake. All right, guys, I gotta wrap this up. You guys have been watching me eat fish and chips and shakes for 10 minutes, 11 minutes. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like the way I tell a story and uh, you wanna travel with me around the world, please subscribe. Just uh, click that little button over there and subscribe. <clears throat> now, normally I'm doing custom cars and all that kind of stuff, but the custom cars and my television show and all those other things have given me a, an amazing life, let me travel around the country. And I want to share that with you, my friends and my fans. So thank you for hanging out with me, and thank you for subscribing. I'll see you on the next adventure. And by the way, here it is, coming at you.